focus on moral rights which are the non-transferable and irrevocable personal rights of authors. First there is the right of paternity according to which authors have the right to be properly identified as authors. So if I pretend a passage of Romeo and Juliet is my creation, I will infringe the paternity right and commit an offense of plagiarism. We can also find works that do not require author recognition, which is common in international image repositories because in other legislations moral rights are waivable. But as we mentioned before, in Spanish legislation they are irrevocable and therefore we are always obliged to cite. The second is the right to the integrity of the work. The work should not be modified to the detriment of the author's interests. This right is aimed to keep the creative unity and the original idea of the work, thus it provides protection from infringement in publishing, for example. On our part to respect this right we must try to reproduce entire images and, in the case of text, somehow indicate that we are reproducing a fragment. These two rights have no time limit, they must always be respected. Authors can also decide whether or not to disclose their work. In the case of disclosure, they have the right to decide when and in what form, with their name, under a pseudonym or anonymously. The right of disclosure lasts the life of the author plus 70 years. Finally we come to the last three moral rights, the right of access, modification and withdrawal which last the life of the author. Authors can access a unique or rare copy of the work, when it is in another person's possession, in order to exercise the right of disclosure or any other right. Authors also have the right to modify the work, even when it is no longer their property, respecting the rights acquired by others and the requirements for the protection of assets of cultural interest. For example, authors can introduce changes in their work, always respecting the rights that the publishing house may have acquired. Finally, authors can withdraw the work due to a change in their intellectual or moral convictions, always respecting the rights acquired by others. Thus, an author could request the withdrawal of a book from sale, prior compensation for damages to the publisher.